Hi, this is Koi TV. My name is Stefan and today I'm going to show you the phosphate le level in my pond, uh, in the XXL pond. In this pond uh, there are now 20, 21 koi uh, with an average, uh, average size of 65, 70. Um, quite big, they get uh, 2 kilo, not 20, 2 kilo uh, food a day in, in 24 hours. Um, and the last week, it's, it's really nice weather, but the last week um, the, yeah, the, the, the tank get more algae, so it's more, it's really green at the moment. The UV system is uh, the UV lamp is uh, refreshed, is, is uh, replaced, um, everything is the same. Temperature of course goes up, uh, light in hours goes, goes up because it's now the 7th of June, so uh, yeah, it's getting, we've got more light hours a day. But still I'm really curious what the phosphate level in the, in the, in the water is. Uh, phosphate uh, helps the algae grow. Of course, they also need the light and the and the temperature that ha that helps them growing as well. But the phosphate is like uh, yeah manure or uh, yeah fertilizer, so um, they they like the phosphate. So I want to keep it as as low as possible. Uh, it's in the uh, it, uh, it's in the food in the koi food. So to get it get the level lower uh, I have to rinse the, the pond. So I do about 30% uh, a week uh, water, yeah, refresh, refresh tap water in the, in the pond. Uh, not at all at one time, it's uh, by uh, cleaning the filter, the, the drum filter cleans itself so that is replacing the water and um, yeah, some extra uh, water uh, with, the, with the overflow. Um, so that's try to keep it low, but it's good to yeah check it, check the the, the phosphate level, yeah once a week, so I can see what's happening if I have to yeah uh, get some more fresh water in or do something else. Um, yeah, so let's test it. So I've got two uh, devices with me of two ways to to check the phosphate. I've got the the digital uh, Hana checker. Uh, really cool, and the I've got the Colombo uh, droplet test, so you can s check if there's any phosphate in. So I will first do this, this one here. Um, I need 10, 10 mil, yeah, 10 mil of pond water. Bottle one. I get the five drops in. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Steer it a bit. Uh, bottle two. One, two, three, four, five. And then. Of course, steer it again, and then the the powder. Two scoops. One, two, and steer it again. Like this. This has to wait for ten minutes. So I'm going to check it. That's that. Now the HANA pocket meter. I use the HANA pocket meters uh, quite a lot for the ammonia and the uh, nitrite um, and also for the phosphate. So I'm going to check it. It's easy, also an easy device like this. I need only, they have two cuvettes in. I always use one. You have to fill it up With pond water, of course, rinse it, and then 
10 mil. What's really important is to dry the outside quite well. If it's wet, um, and this is a photo spectrometer, the, the camera will make a, make, a, make a picture and then uh, yeah, the, the little uh, computer inside will calculate the, 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 yeah, the, the, the amount of phosphate. So if the outside is not clear and the, the camera makes a picture and it's, it's murky, yeah, then it, you get a, another uh, reading. So it's not, not good. So now it's dry. Ooh. Ooh. Just on, it says C1, cuvette 1, just nothing in. Eh, of course, water, but not the... Uh, no, nothing, no regencia, nothing. Just push it one short time, and it takes a, makes a measurement, and then it says C2. So they want want you to get the under cuvette and fill that also with water. But it's also possible to just take this one out like this. I will put it here so you can see it, and then. They've got the little bags. Just make sure the powder is in the bottom. So do like this and then you have to cut it or do it like this. Um, make it a, like a round round cut so the it's easy to get the the powder in now it's in and then it's important to not shake it like this no just just do it like this so there is no air tiny micro air bubbles inside because that will also um, um, yeah, make the picture a bit murky and you get a, another reading so just about 15 times like this then into the device and then that's really important to hold the button till the the time uh, starts running. So I hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, then three minutes and then it goes down. If you just type it, touch it really short, it goes to the C1 again or just do the, the measurement again. So don't, don't do that. I'll leave it like here so I can film it with the second camera. The uh, the time and then uh, we have to wait the meanwhile I can uh, while we're waiting for the results on the HANA tester I can share the really good news about KOI TV KOI TV goes live we went live quite a lot of times already but it was in Dutch so if your Dutch is not that good or not good uh, you can you can follow us on Friday evening so the Dutch version is in Wednesdays 8 o'clock in the evening and the English version is on Friday ev uh, evening 8 o'clock Central European time um, yeah you can you can you can ask uh, the, the first time is a Q&A so you can ask anything about ponds and koi and I try to answer them um, and you, you do it in the live chat it's next to the uh, to the when the live stream starts you can see you can see the live chat you can chat with me and then uh, yeah I'll try to answer all your questions um, yeah every Friday it's gonna be every Friday but the first Friday the first time is this Friday so uh, I hope to see you there 10, 9, 8. So now 
when it's to zero, it messages again. That sometimes takes a while. It's 0 0.28. That is parts per million, milligram per liter. Um, normally, I want it 0 0.20. 0. Um, so yeah, it's it's a bit too high. It's already getting a bit lower. I did just um, made the movie, uh, made the film, the Dutch version. That's uh, about an hour ago, and I'm rinsing at the moment. So it's getting lower uh, already, but it's now 0 0.28. So if I keep the the level uh, below 0 0.2. The uh, the water is much much clearer clearer because the the yeah the algae can not grow that that fast so the, the UV system um, easily can uh, can get it clear um, yeah and I can see the koi again it, if the koi can choose by the way if the koi can choose between the the clear water and the murky green water they love to be in the in the murky green water there's less stress. I know a lot of people that, that prepare their koi for the koi shows or grow them as fast as possible. Yeah, put in algae to, um, to let it be as green as possible. And they don't see us, so they don't have that much stress. stress. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the point where I want to show my fish. So I want it clear. So I'm gonna, we're gonna follow this, uh, this pond. Next uh, next week, somewhere Wednesday, Thursday, will be a, a, a new uh, update about the yeah, about the water quality of this uh, of this pond. So the uh, ammonium and nitrite are really doing well. They're really low. Only the phosphate. I want it a bit a bit lower, and then the UV system can keep up with the reproduction of the algae. Uh, and get the, the tank really clear. I, if the koi can choose between the really crystal clear water or uh, yeah, green water, they like to be in the green water uh, rather than being in the, in the crystal clear water. They don't see us, so there is not as much stress uh, as, they, as they have in clear water. And um, yeah, they, they really grow really well. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, preparing their koi for the koi shows. They keep it, yeah. They they put in special algae to uh, to get it green. We do that as well. We we can uh, we can we we are breeding algae to put in. But there are no koi shows coming up, uh, and I want to sell my koi. Eh? This is a koi shop, so I want uh, people to be able to see the koi. So today and the, the next weeks, it needs to be uh, crystal clear. If you want to keep your pond really green, uh, get it green with the right algae, you can order it uh, by this email. And then I will send you uh, a package of, uh, of, the, of the algae. We are breeding especially for the, for the growing things. It's really clear. So I will keep you posted about the at about this pond, how the, the water is, uh, how it's going. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, that means a lot to me, and, uh, and, and like and share, of course. And hope to see you Friday. Bye bye.